Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Lee Ko An. I'm a radiation oncologist at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. Proton therapy has been around for 50 years, so it's not exactly new. However, the machines have been very big in the past and very expensive. So in the last few years, uh, just like your handphone getting smaller and cheaper, uh, so proton therapy has, machines have been getting smaller and cheaper and better at the same time, uh, so that uh, it's being uh, installed in more and more hospitals around the world. So where it differs from a regular uh, radiotherapy using X-rays is that uh, protons stop. So whereas X-rays are more like a laser light, uh, it shines from the source through the tumour and carries on to infinity uh, coming out on the other side of the tumour and exiting the patient. So it causes damage on the way in as well as the way out. In contrast, proton therapy is more like playing uh, basketball or billiards or golf where there is a particle, which is the proton uh, particle, and you shoot it in the correct direction at the correct speed and it will land in the tumour and stop there and nothing comes out on the other side. So we reduce radiation injury to the normal tissues on the way in and especially on the way out. So that's the, the main attraction to proton therapy. Uh, it effectively reduces the radiation exposure to the patient maybe by about a third. And uh, that is expected to reduce uh, side effects uh, both in the short uh, term as well as in the long run. Technically, uh, proton therapy is just another form of radiation. So one could argue that almost any patient that's undergoing radiotherapy could also have uh, proton therapy. However, the benefits, of course, vary between different patients. So some patients will expect to see more benefit than others. And those are the ones that you would want to uh, spend the extra money because it's, it's more expensive. Uh, to treat on proton therapy. So in general, uh, young patients, because a lot of the side effects are late, they manifest years later, such as uh, with growth or hormone uh, problems uh, or radiation-induced malignancy. Uh, secondly, uh, tumours that are large. So uh, a large tumour would expect to have more radiation injury because the radiation fields are larger. And, and so, uh, the side effects would be worse for a patient with a large tumour. Uh, that's where proton therapy would uh, shine. So, because we, we uh, intrinsically, physically reduce the radiation exposure to the normal tissues, uh, the side effects would be less. A third category would be uh, when the tumour is located deep within a sensitive organ such as the liver. So, if a patient had a large liver tumour, in the past, we were unable to safely deliver a large dose of X-ray radiation without also causing too much unacceptable uh, liver injury. But with proton therapy, we are now able to uh, give that same dose of radiation uh, safely because enough of the liver is saved from high dose. Another potential benefit would be uh, uh, patients would be those where they have previous radiation uh, so, if we give a second round of radiation, the injury to the tissues would exceed what is safe. So, if you can give proton therapy, we might be able to reduce the uh, radiation exposure to nearby tissues. Uh, having said that, uh, proton therapy for re-irradiation cases still has to be very carefully done and not everyone uh, is a candidate because if the tumour is recurrence is located in a critical organ, you have to deliver the high dose to that tumour at the critical organ. And no matter what radiation technique you are using, including proton therapy, there would be a high dose to that organ and hence it would still be uh, risky and dangerous. Mount Elizabeth uh, is always invests in the highest uh, and most advanced uh, quality equipment. And so uh, 
we have a wide variety of machines uh, that enable us to deliver the best uh, appropriate treatment for that particular cancer. So for instance, uh, we were the first uh, in Singapore to uh, install a variant True Beam machine, which is a high-end radiotherapy machine uh, that is uh, very accurate and able to deliver quick treatments. Uh, we also uh, are the only centre in Singapore to have a gamma knife uh, radio surgery machine, which is a highly specialised treatment for brain tumours. Uh, we have a, a newly installed hyperthermia machine uh, I think we are probably one of the few in Asia uh, where this is a way to increase the radiation uh, killing of cancer without increasing the side effects to uh, normal tissues. Uh, that uh, likely to be operational in the next few weeks. And then uh, finally we have uh, the Proton Therapy Centre. Uh, this is the newest state-of-the-art compact uh, proton uh, radiotherapy machine and uh, it will be installed at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital uh, and uh, and so the cases that will be allowed to treat actually will be uh, dictated uh, by and guided by the Singapore Ministry of Health uh, rules which are actually online. Uh, so we are qu quite excited to be able to uh, firstly have tools at our disposal uh, previously with the highest end radiotherapy, x-ray radiotherapy machines and now a newest addition of a proton therapy machine.